Comics can start out many ways, but in my case I prefer to develop a script first. A script allows me to lay out the locations, actions, angles, character dialogue, and pacing of the story. Along with a script, the early development of a comic requires an understanding of how the characters will look. A character turnaround sheet is a handy reference to use while drawing the comic. Each page starts out as a thumbnail sketch, which is then turned into a rough full-size sketch and then traced in clean lines onto watercolor paper, although I prefer to paint in gouache, which is similar to watercolor, only more opaque. When coloring the pages, I work from the background to the foreground. That way when I paint the foreground objects, the color overlaps any background color. Here I apply water and then paint to allow for a wash effect. I also often use wet on wet painting technique to make the backgrounds more fuzzy, which makes the foreground figures more solid and in focus. Once the background is colored, objects in front can be filled in. I begin with a flat color and then add highlights and shadows. As the rest of the scene in each panel is filled in, I can begin to color the figures. I start with any details in clothing or flat details such as skin tone or base hair color. As the flat colors dry, I can begin to add the highlights, shadows, or pinkness in the nose or cheeks. For foreground figures, I prefer wet on dry technique. It's crisper and more well defined for the characters that are meant to be the focus of the scenes. In scenes with strong lighting or backlighting, more emphasis is placed on shadow and highlight. Here, the shadow is a blue tint, and the highlight is a yellow sign outside the room.
after the painting is finished, I can begin the inking process. I use a brush tip marker to outline my pages as a way of matching the looseness of my painting style. For me, the inking step is where the characters come to life. You can see their eyes and expressions more clearly. Ah, done! Only 23 more to go.